Hi folks, in this video we're going to download and install SU Podium version 2.6 for SketchUp. So to find the SU Podium installers, open up your web browser and go to suplugins.com. In the download drop down menu, choose Podium Updates. Take a look at the system requirements and make sure your system supports SE Podium version 2.6. On Windows, you need 7, 8, or 10 and it requires SketchUp 2017 or newer. On Mac, you need Mac High Sierra or newer and it does require SketchUp 2018, 19, 20, or newer. SketchUp Make 2017 is not supported by SE Podium version 2.6. You would need to use SE Podium version 2.5 instead. All right, scroll down to the SC Podium version 2.6 downloads, and you'll see there's two options available. You can download an RBZ installer, which is the standard SketchUp plugin format, or you can download an executable EXE or PKG installer. The second option is only recommended for schools or offices where there's gonna be more than one user on each computer. If you're the only person using your computer, go ahead and download the RBZ installer. So. I'll click this button to expand the download table, and then we just need to choose our file. Okay, I'm using SketchUp 2020, so I'm gonna click Download RBZ File, and that's gonna open a Save As window. It's very important that we choose Save File and don't try and open the file with our browser. If you try and open it directly, you'll get an error message. So if your web browser attempts to run the RBZ file automatically, what you can do is right click and choose Save Link As, and that's gonna open a window where you can choose where you wanna save the file. But in most cases, when you click the link, it should give you this save file option, click OK, and then you just choose a location and save the file to your desk. So I'm saving that to my downloads folder. It's a couple hundred megabytes, so it might take a minute or two to download, but when that finishes, you can go back to SketchUp, go up to Window, Extension Manager. In the bottom left, click Install Extension, then find the RBZ file wherever you saved it. It's in my downloads folder. Click to select the RBZ file and then press open. And in a few seconds, we're gonna see the SU Podium toolbar appear in the viewport. So there it is, SU Podium version 2.6. I'm gonna go ahead and dock that right up here in the taskbar. When I close the extension manager, it's gonna automatically shut down SketchUp, so I'll need to reopen it. All right, I've reopened SketchUp, and as you can see, the SE Podium version 2.6 toolbar is still visible, so it means we successfully installed SE Podium. Now, if you never saw the toolbar, but SE Podium is listed under the extensions menu, it means you successfully installed the plugin, but the toolbar is probably hidden. So you can unhide it by going to View, Toolbars, scroll down to Podium version 2.6, and just put a check in the box, and the toolbar will appear. On Mac, this is exactly the same, it's just under View Tool Palettes instead of Toolbars. So I'm gonna close that, redock this, and we are all set. So if you're a trial user, the 30-day free trial is gonna start automatically. If I go up to Extensions, SE Podium version 2.6, License, you can see it says your Podium trial will expire on October 14th and you have 30 days remaining. So I've got a, a trial running and I can go ahead and close this and get right to work. All right, if you do own a Podium license, the last step is to activate. So go back up to extensions, SE Podium version 2.6 plus license, click activate license and paste your license key into the box. This can be found in your order receipt. It starts with PD and contains 18 total characters. So I'll paste that, click activate. In a few seconds, we're gonna get a dialog box that says the computer has been fully activated. All right, and then the last step is to restart SketchUp. The license won't be saved into the preferences file until we restart SketchUp, so I really recommend you do this right away. I'm gonna close the license manager, come up to File, Exit. The reason I specifically say to go to File, Exit is because on Mac, SketchUp doesn't actually close unless you use the quit command. Closing the model window leave SketchUp running in the background. So what you really wanna do is go up to the SketchUp drop-down menu and choose the Quit option. And once you reopen SketchUp, everything should be fully activated. So the, the best way to test is to open up Podium Browser. And as long as the download arrows are black, it means everything is fully activated. So if I click this, it's gonna download that model into my scene, and we're all set. SU Podium version 2.6 and Podium Browser are activated. 
All right. Thanks, guys.